in any other walk of life, in any other organisation, the person presiding over such a colossal failure would be sacked. Clearly, you are not the person to restore people's confidence in public safety. Your position is completely untenable. You should resign. You've said a lot of things, Deputy. Your party has said a lot of things. Your leader has said a lot of things since last night, since last Thursday. Not a single solution not a single proposal, not a single thing of benefit has come out of your mouths since last Thursday. Instead, you have used a tragic situation to sow division, to point score and to create instability. So Helen McAtee says that she is responding by doing proactive things like ensuring new legislation is passed, including a bill back before the doll today which will allow Gardaí to wear body cameras. Sinn Féin, for what it's worth, have not been beyond criticism themselves either. The Labour Party has called them out because of a picture displayed by Louise O'Reilly in the doll chamber, a picture also tweeted by Mary Lou Macdonald on Twitter, in which she has uh, illustrated a person that was passed out on the steps of the same Gwail Skull Colossus of Wera on Parnell Square yesterday. They say that, that although that person wasn't posing any threat to the children coming out at the end of school time, that nonetheless the fact that there was no guard of presence there to remove somebody like that is again an illustration of policing failures. They have been accused of exploiting somebody and weaponising that for political cause. However, the fact that Sinn Féin are now twice calling explicitly for Helen McEntee to resign is illustrative of where we might go next week. Sinn Féin will have to decide tomorrow how they're using their dull time next week. All expectations now that they will use that time for a motion of no confidence trying to remove Helen McEntee.